So I have some uh, secret units, you guys. Some some secret towers that were in a game before, but got removed for pretty much no reason. It's actually not a tower in here, but rather something that spawns in the game. I'll show you what I mean. So the first obvious one is the uh, mecha base thing, which has been a game for basically around a uh, two years or three. And at first it was on wheels, but now it's on legs. But that's not really what I showcase, because we all know me spamming this in a lot of my videos. What I do want to showcase is this. Look at all the units I have. There's some on this list that I can't show at all, but I'll show you the ones I can. Do you guys remember SWAT Van? That was for the shotgunner tower. They are remaking that tower, and I have no idea if this will come back. Uh, probably not, but I used to voice this tower. Here are some of the voice lines for that. Strike Force moving out. Strike Force rolling. Copy. Strike Force is on the way. So people will spam it so fast to the point where it would look like this, and it kind of looks ugly with the text bleeding like that. I'm pretty sure you guys remember the citizens. Not oh, crap. I'm pretty sure you guys remember the citizens. These were on the first Halloween event. Um, and they would just have pitchforks, and they had an abnormal amount of health. I mean, they even have more than the crook bosses, and that's just weird. This is how much the crook has, and he has a t-shirt with pants. And this guy just has some old Yankee raggedy ass clothes and uh, like a hat from a trash can. And has way more health. I think the new update broke him as well. Yeah, he just stabs to the side and somehow kills him. But this man can tank hard. There's also Citizen 2, which has a sword, uh, goes a bit faster, and has less HP. I'm pretty sure it has more damage, though. Golem Mafia does 5 damage per bullet and 50 health, while this boy does 60 damage. God damn, dude, that's, that's almost as much as a gladiator. Well, he died to have the normal boss RIP. All the citizens versus the Grave Digger. Also, one Golem Crook, I guess. So far, oh! <laughs> He is dying though. This is actually working. That's crazy. Stunning? Oh, I didn't expect stunning to kill him. Well, that's a rip. Their swords are still moving even though they're dead. That's okay. I got another wave inbound. And Grave Digger is going to die. This season one is definitely worth your value. Uh, as if you guys could spawn this in. Errors versus citizens. What an absolute massacre. You know, these guys might stand a better chance if we give them guns, but let's not. Let, let's just watch them die. Thousands of families being killed by the second, you guys. Each one of these has, has like, kids and stuff, and I'm just sending them on their way to die. Did... Did... Did they just kill a tank? Oh my god! Dude! They're killing a tank before it reaches them. Like, sure, some die, but that's alright, so like for like a few to die. That's crazy. Only one person died. I have a great idea, wait. Okay, I spawn in however many citizens and those are just roaming around. Also spawn in speedies, cause I cause I do want want them to like pack up right here. Just stop. Yeah, like like this. I I, I want I want them to stop. So they can do major damage. Watch this, guys. Ooh, this is a huge cluster right here, man. Look at all that firepower going on right there. They don't detect stealth, but that doesn't really matter a whole lot. Okay, time to spot in one Fallen King. Let's see how fast it dies. And we immediately acted his rage ability, and he killed everyone off. It's because of his stun, dude. That's not, that's not fair. This game sucks. Oh, by the way, Monster has not been removed at all. Uh, this guy works now, though, when he first spawns, because before we just drag him across and he'd be, like, T-posing, I guess, as a dead person, but now it works. Although, he swings the complete opposite direction, and now he's stuck. This is his, uh, life now, is, is stuck. Fallen King dies, shocker. Like I was saying, this tank was showcased in the trailer that I made back then, but so far it they i don't think they really have any plans to put that in the game i think that was a year ago and it works just as a normal tank would but uh they just didn't decide to roll the skin i guess it looks really cool though it's a shame that it's not put in the game i think a lot of players would uh like to see this there's also the jeep uh which is pretty much the same thing as the truck i don't know when exactly this was put in the game but uh this looks really cool Here's also all the marks. Uh, there's one called Rocket. Oh man, this looks funny as hell. I haven't seen any died. I have not seen these boys in a long time. Um, this looks like they just slapped the top onto like yeah they. So they legit just took the top from 
from the tank and put some lanes underneath it and called it like new. There's also the uh, XR901, which is called the Mark V. It got changed up, I believe. And this is the XR900, which uh, is Mark IV, tank on wheels. This is the tower that we all know and love. That was shown in a trailer, but <laughs> was was never put in game, or at least for public use. I wonder how much we spent a bunch of swap vans, because these are older models. They might be not well made in terms of optimization. So it could just lag out the game. Let's see. Oh, so far, no lag. So I just to avoid Reaver just to see if they can get one shot at probably. Uh, so far, oh, okay, and I think I my computer crashed. Oh no, there we go. Wow, my camera shook so hard. Look at my camera. Wow, that was fun. Let's do that again. But this time we have more SWAT vans. Yeah! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Green, blue, circle, green. Damn it! How many frames am I getting? I'm getting three frames. This game sucks, dude. Why am I getting thirty frames, man? I thought this game was well made. Why am I getting thirty frames, guys? We're doing so much damage that the health bar is starting to lag a bit. Uh, we should kill that thing. Hold on, he's gonna go into rage, and now I can't play the game at all. This is fun! Awesome, I love playing games with one frame per 10 seconds. I love my life. I wish I had a better life. God damn, dude, this is... Okay, well, we're back to normal. Swap vans are chewing him away, and all the way Reaver dude did was just kill himself faster. One Fallen King. Can they take on one fall or two? Fallen King, do your thing. Yes! I love having a crappy computer! Woo! Two frames per second! This isn't even two frames, this is like ten frames per per hour, dude! Woo! Yes! God by the almighty, this is my life! Look at the swap fans over here. They're like going out of control. It's so laggy where they're still alive while being killed. That's, that's how bad it got. Somehow we managed to kill the Fallen Kings. So I don't even know what what really occurred there. That's just weird to see. Um, that's very laggy. But yeah, those are pretty much all the secret towers or just towers you have been seen for years. There's, there's also this tower that everyone seems to forget about. And there's a good reason because it, it's just absolute garbage. The only cool thing about it is that it shoots rockets and the rockets go wee in the air, come back down, and do no damage.